We're recording, I, I believe. The moisture and the palate. Wait, do you you got wine or are you just on the egg one? I got one. I'm on okay. stemless. The stemless cranberino. Um Hello. <laughs> Hello all. Um I don't like this is all just a workshop really. Like there's no plan or or or, or thought. No, not uh, really. But, well, but it's different from what we usually do. Huh? True, true. You frozen on me. Are you there? Stupid ass kid. How many can one, two, three, four, five? Why would you freeze? It? Hello. You, you're frozen for me now. Am I back? <clears throat> you're back now, yeah. My internet. Come on. <laughs> right now, of all times. Anyway, we'll start from the start. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is a this is a first run of a potential podcast. Potential podcast. A potential um, podcast. What what have we named it? It's got the working title of um, Canadian Tux. Canadian Tux. Yes. Yeah. We and are. If you don't know what that is, then. I don't know, we just don't want you as a fan or a follower or a listener. Yeah, you could Google it or not. I don't care. Yeah. We do um, need like a, a thumbnail picture of us in Canadian Tuxes. Oh, back we do. To back. We do actually. How are we going to do that? Oh, wait, we can. We'll figure um, it out. Yeah. So I guess like some backstory to this is we were always going to do a podcast of some sort, but because of lockdown, we can't do sketches anymore. Or for the time being, we can't do in-person sketches. So this is a nice way of meeting up. Because we were, so we Zoom, like any time, so behind the writing process for any of the sketches we do, generally speaking, one of us will come up with the crux of the joke or the theme of the sketch, like the storyline, and then the other person writes the punchline. Pretty much, So it's yeah. kind of, we've been doing that like our entire lives. So like starting off in school, we did this, thing called head body legs where one person draws the head then the next then the next person draws the body and then it goes back to the original person to draw the legs and i think that's like instilled every sort of like joke writing thing we've ever done yeah and we found out that it was a uh, part of dadaism which is also yeah. i think something that's integral integral to what we do Two da two two dudes with data issues, right? Data issues. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that'd be a great name. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> that would be fantastic. Be yeah. I wish to put it in a. Let's put it in a. I'm gonna put that on Twitter at the moment, and get everyone to vote on it, and then right. two people will vote on it, and it'll be a hung jury. But uh, yeah, I, I uh, actually found a head body legs that we did in college. Did you? Do you have it? Yeah, I'll uh, get it ready for. Um... It's actually quite grotesque, uh, but yeah, I'll get it ready for. Uh... What's the word? When we're next sharing next week. No, no, I can oh, share. Okay, it. I can, I can show it now. But I'll just get it ready on my computer. Um, I guess I'll send it to myself. If I can, yes. And then I'll get it ready up here. Very, uh, very interesting start to the start to the podcast. Start to the pod. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but I mean, you know, we're nearly there. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. We have no rhyme or reason or format for this. Uh. We we uh we were just yeah so uh, going back to what we were talking about um this is like coming about because we were zooming each other for writing sessions anyway um and they're quite funny so why not just record them and yes set it up for everyone to see uh well you know little uh, elements here and there added hold on that's better that's better get a lean on the chair. <laughs> um, um we're uh we're legally obliged to say that we're double cheeked up at the start of this 
We got a, yeah, we got a. Oh, no, no, no. What day is that? Double cheeked up Friday, Friday evening. Friday evening. Double cheeked up on a Friday evening. We hope all our uh, friends and family are double cheeked up too. That's all we can wish for. It's one blessing I've counted throughout lockdown. Like, yeah. my social life has been reduced to nothing, but I do have cake. I got cake, yeah. And there's batter to share for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know when people say they've got cake? Yeah. What type of cake are they talking about? I'm because thinking, yeah. There's like, because like you've got like your triple tier wedding cake. Oh, right. Man. Yeah. If you're in, if you're, if you're really down for some badonk donk. But uh, what if, what, <laughs> what if, <laughs> What if your your best your best gal had Swiss roll cake? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> there's a <laughs> there's connotation there. What if she got that gatto? You know what I'm saying? Black forest gatto. Black forest gatto. What if she got like what, a dark what if cherry she, interior? What if she got that? Uh, what's his name? Colin the Colin caterpillar. The caterpillar. <laughs> 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 oh damn! <laughs> it's got some like a human said to be connotations right oh, there oh man yeah <laughs> hey you gotta accept me for who i am and the, the two other train. people i'm so <laughs> attached to <laughs> <laughs> that would be a sketch idea that would be that would be funny me and my human centipede girlfriend yeah <laughs> that would be funny we need some extras so if anyone is like willing to film themselves stuck to either me or sam's uh Wedding cake, then. Wedding cake, yeah. Our, my, our frosting. <laughs> you want me to eat frosting? <laughs> <laughs> Man. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Like, what if it's an ice cream cake? It could be. Um, what if... There is someone inside the cake. <laughs> so like, like, a like surprise um, birthday cake. Like Marilyn Monroe at JFK's birthday. Yeah, like that. They've got like a chest burster type thing, except it's more of like an ass burster. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> uh, um, we have we have oh, videos lined up. We do, but first we have the the podcast. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what we are going to do. That was a throwaway tweet that we made once, where me, me and Sam were going to start a podcast, and it was going to be a companion co-op podcast for Poirot, where we had to take a deep dive and dissect each part of podcast or every each part of episode starting from episode one yes and we both watched the first episode today am i right mm-hmm. yeah uh any thoughts wait what was it uh, called um, uh it was a uh, clapped cheeks cook yeah that was it it was called uh beat cook beating the cook's cheeks something like yeah. that yeah something like that um well I, uh, I, 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 it, it opens, it, see, I don't know if you're, like, like, I've never read any of the part of books, so I assume, like, there's not meant to be any backstory. Yeah, I don't know. Opens. Yeah. But, um. It kind of just think, opens, yeah. Yeah. If anyone's never seen the Poirot intro, by the way, it's, like, so Poirot's set in the, is it set in the 1950s, 40s? Some, something 1920s. like that. 1920s. 30s 1920s 30s i don't know but it's got the the tri- it's got the trippiest um 80s intro yeah like it's like it's psychedelic and synthy as fuck it's like james bond's depressed dad intro or something <laughs> you know yeah like it has vibes of james bond but like a bit like a lot slower and a lot more uh weird but um what struck me about the first episode was how shaky the cameras were. <laughs> that always happens in pilot episodes. They, they don't have any tripods or whatever. Yeah. They hire the one guy who's got like bloody issues. Issues, yeah. And uh, you see, it's cheaper to not 
turn they, the heating on for your pilot episode. They bloody so they, they hire a guy on a pogo stick or something. I mean. <laughs> but he's got one of those like he's recording the whole thing, but he's got you know those belts that like jiggle people <laughs> yeah. to juice way. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was um Celtic Tiger Science, I believe. You don't see that yeah. anymore. No. Uh, so it, it opens up with um with a uh, Ted Bundy, I think, stuffing a suitcase. Yeah, Ted Bundy. Which is obviously filled with a person. Yeah. Um a person filling. This, <laughs> a person filling. Kind of like the um the wedding cake. cake. Yeah. Uh but he, we get like this ominous music playing to f- and we find out that he's a nefarious man. Mr. Simpson, I believe, we find out his name is afterwards. Yeah, Mr. Simpson. And then it cuts to Poirot and his best man, A. Stings. A. Stings, and they're yeah. At their desk. And if anyone doesn't know, like, Poirot, uh, Poirot is a Belgian detective with a, an upturned moustache uh, with, a, with a, a unique POV of the world. Every crime is a puzzle waiting to be solved. And, yeah. uh, and Hastings is a simple man. He's his, yeah, he's his, he's his side man, you know? <laughs> he's the everyman. Yeah. His whole point is like... His whole point is to uh, to be the audience and be like, I don't yeah. get it. And then Poirot's <laughs> like, well, you see. And then he explains it to Hastings. <laughs> I love how it opened up with the line, today is the day, I think, for a mustache trim. <laughs> maybe the pomade. <laughs> 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 um, what's unusual about this part episode is they... Uh, they they take a uh, they don't take they're looking through I don't I can't remember this right but they uh they're looking through some papers for crimes mm-hmm. and they're looking for the most interesting crime because you know a simple burglary isn't isn't worth their time and yeah. this woman yeah. comes in asking looking for her missing cook the clap cheek cook yeah and um the two dudes are like i don't know this doesn't seem like a very interesting case and then hilarity ensues pretty much they they cop the case yeah she uh she she uh protests that he's she's like oh you think you're too good for me and then poro's like oh uh maybe i gotta maybe i gotta do this case now and uh it turns out to be a lot more interesting than uh one first thought um i okay the only um so yeah simpson is we don't know it's simpson at the start but obviously we do now um he is stuffing a body in the suitcase and he has set up this scheme so that this posh lady's cook is is a uh, he pretends that she's uh, in inherited uh, a sum of money and a and a property, right? Yeah. And he sends her away. And uh, the only reason he does all that seemingly is because he wants to use her suitcase. <laughs> it's Am I right? Important. Or yeah. does is it is it part of his plan that he's setting her up, or is no, the only reason he does this is because he wants her suitcase? He wants her suitcase to hide a body from the very. There's start. easier ways to. He could just be like, I, "Can I, can I borrow I'll your suitcase?" You a, yeah. <laughs> I will pay you some money for the suitcase, please. Yeah, but you know. He also, like he he does that by dressing up as an Australian with like a cheap wig and mustache. Yeah, an Australian. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's also a running trend thread Poirot, like uh, uh, disguises and fake beards. So like from Poirot's, like, from Poirot's perspective, statistically, if he just yanked on someone's beard, it's probably fake. And you would probably find out that that is probably the person he's looking for. If he just did that with every suspect, just yeah. a quick beard dog. That would save him a lot of time. <laughs> um, he didn't taste any poison in this episode so so who's um, smarts for that 
Yeah, gonna have to. And he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. I don't think he eats anything either. So no, the only three things you need to sign up for in a in a Paro episode is a uh, Paro ch- chowing down. Yeah, uh-huh. because he yeah. puts on a very elaborate bib each time, or you know Paro tasting poison. Tipping a thingy into he the poison. He did get an irate Paro though. Yeah, yeah. Paro lost his shit. He did. He lost. He lost it. He's a very composed man normally. <laughs> yeah. But he was kicked off the case. Yeah. I was it the lady's husband. Or he was paid off for one guinea. One guinea. <laughs> uh, which he then framed at the end of the episode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So long story short, he finds out it was uh, Mr. Simpson. Mr. Simpson, who, uh, who you know, has framed the the cook. Yeah, but you know he catches him, and uh, justice is served. Not the most exciting episode. No, but you know it is the pilot, I guess. Yeah, it could have done with more Hastings, Huff, and Solvents. Yes. <laughs> That's my one short takeaway. Yeah, I had a lot of train uh, scenery, <laughs> which was good. Um, I like that. Um, it. It reminded me of um, another pilot, but I can't remember the name of it, but another detective show, but it was a woman detective. I don't remember her name. Whatever. But it was good. I am looking yes. forward to watching more of it. A five of turn, uh, no. I give it a solid three out of five of turn mustaches. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think hopefully. I want it to pick up. I mean, you know, I need to be tantalized a bit more. Yeah. I hopefully... want some of the, the sleek, sexy mystique I'm accustomed to from my episodes of Poirot. Yeah. And hopefully uh, in the future, the shots will be a bit more stable. Steady. Yeah. Mm. That always happens in pilots. I don't know. I guess it's a lower budget and all that. But yeah. But yeah, that was a uh, beaten the. Cook's Cheeks episode, or whatever it was called. That was good. Clapping the Cook's Cheeks. That's what it's called. Look it up. That's what it's called. Look it up. Look it up. Uh, Speaking of looking it up, uh, we went digging for some of our, our weirder videos for some gold yeah um, Can... we need to all right so because we need to work out the the logistics of this because you've got how many videos let me have a quick look i don't have to show all of them i've got one two i have about 12 there i could show okay. maybe six if you want or uh, i've got three so i mean at the very least we can we can do every three of yours, one of mine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to start with the head, body, legs that I found, and then yeah, watch of one of your yeah. videos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me. Are we both able to share screen now, or what's up? You should be able to try it out. Host disabled participant screen sharing. Why did you do that? I don't want you to do it. Why would you do this to me, the other party of the Zoom? There we go. That should fix it. Share screen. Um, Hold on. Let me just get to the page that it is on. Oh, no. Where did it go? (laughs) Uh, Here we go. Can you see that? (laughs) Yes, I can. (laughs) So, Adam, you definitely did the head. (laughs) You can see the fold here is where I then did the body. And in typical Sam fashion, I drew a little little body sitting on top of another person's head. He's and got then a jockey. I, yeah, a jockey. And then I there's the waistline. And then you did the legs. 
<laughs> and so uh, from my point of view right you've got the three basic uh columns of comedy if we'll start at the head please we've got the sleeping mass or humunculus yes <laughs> because if nothing else a small, slightly formed human that's sort of living on on its other host is always funny. Yes. He's at peace. I drew him at peace. Yeah, he is at <laughs> peace. At first, I thought this was an eyeball, but then I was like, oh, no, here's the eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks like if you were to like stretch someone's skin and go. <gasps> yeah, it's quite grotesque. It looks kind of um, like a nutsack as well. but. I think, yes, I can't remember. I drew this when it was... 15. So Wait, it's really? Probably not sack. I can't remember. No, this is from college. Though. This is from oh, college. Really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was after watching <laughs> um, a Cronenberg movie. I watched and the then... thing and it was living on. What I like to see is you're, you made your guy a little muscular. <laughs> yeah, I think he's, I don't know what he's doing here, but I think he's trying to do like a ratatouille thing with his head. I think maybe he's trying to like steer him that way. I don't know. Hmm. And then he's on top of uh, obviously uh, uh, a lad, a portly lad. Yeah, of of course. And then With we have, lips. yeah. That's the other two columns of comedy, right? So if we go back down to the legs, we've got bird feet because if there's bird feet, nothing yeah. more terrifying, it's quickly moving bird feet attached to the <laughs> most. But we also and then the hairy leg. Yes, when the, he's the also converse. quite gammed up. Yeah, with no yeah. socks. No sock. <laughs> um, we have, I think, the element of um, misdirection with the with the middle section here. I think. Yeah, you could uh, become magicians if you really wanted to. Yeah, and he's got wrestling boots. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So I will stop sharing my screen for now. Right. And we will watch, look at one of your videos. Okay. I think the best way to do this is to start, start up hot. Um, right. So should I give a backstory to this? Yeah. And right. uh, just make sure your audio is shared because right. I'm going to have to do that as well. Um, so the, uh, this is a film that came out in the year 2003. Now, that's very important to know because that didn't come out too long ago. And it's a trailer for a film called Tiptoes. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Okay. That's all. I'm sure I'll just let the trailer do the rest of the talking. Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Can I hear? Yes. Carol and Stephen's life together was perfect. I've got to get going. Right this second. Right. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. Mm -hmm. Set up the There's one small problem. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ralph. I'm his brother. We're what? twins. Are your parents? Um... Yeah. It can tear them apart. <laughs> don't let me know that everyone in your family's a midget. Or bring them to That's Gary Oldman. Oh, hey. Welcome, I'm Steven. Oh, there you are. Gary Oldman is Steven's father, Bruno, and his mom, Kathleen, well, he's and over behind the bars. For the entire film. You could have prepared us for this, don't you think? And that's my favorite part of it. Yeah. Just get together. <laughs> I think maybe I'm pregnant. When the going gets rough, it's only the size of your heart that counts. <laughs> Is it big of a deal if our kid was a dwarf? You knocked up this great girl and you didn't tell her that her baby's probably gonna be lit. I'm not like you. We are so cute and cuddly. Don't discriminate against us. This party's got a little wild. I never expected this. There's sure a lot of midgets around here. You better Whoa. back off, Goldie Hawn. My man can do what he wants to do. <laughs> I'm ready for an adult relationship. What is this man doing in your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> A walk down the aisle. For some very reason. Nice. He's a very lucky guy. He just hope he's smart enough not to screw it up. He's just hell? a beginning. There'll be rough patches, there's no doubt about it. Canal what Plus and Langley movie? Productions proudly present command performances from Kate Beckinsale, Matthew McConaughey, 
Patricia Arquette and in the role of a lifetime. <laughs> the, role the role of a lifetime. The role of a lifetime. Tiptoes. And the cheese get bigger. <laughs> Tiptoes. The role of a lifetime. The role of a lifetime. It's like, okay, I can't really say for like it's not my place to say, but is it a comedy? What is it? It is a like it's it's a comedic drama, but it's like, yeah, I guess they had the best of intentions, but they missed the mark so badly. So apparently, it's really hard to find that movie right now because one of the actors bought all the rights. So oh, it would just really? be so so they could bury it in like time because probably for the it's rest. like yeah, like they're like looking back on it. That's only 17 years ago. <laughs> like it's Gary Oldman on his knees playing a man with dwarfism. <laughs> it's like imagine being pitched that and thinking, yeah, you know what? Yeah, and that's well after Gary Oldman had like his actual breaks. The role of a lifetime. <laughs> like he walks in and you see that he's not really walking what the uh, hell? but i digress that was 2003 that was that was a different time i guess not that long ago but a different time um oh i guess i should share um i really i have to make sure that my sound is it gives you a prompt before you share. <laughs> right. <laughs> this, um, like, uh, this is just my you've got hair the, sound. Okay. The, of course. Well, the tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. <laughs> That's my favorite thing that I've ever seen. That keeps me going, <laughs> honestly. But like, but like, why? So like, it's such a like encouraging video, right? Like, it, it it's <laughs> it's such an encouraging video, and like, it actually is really like, like encouraged, like yeah, like honestly, and like gets you to a dark time. But yeah. like, why does the man like, t- <laughs> like? We see a tough man lasting through tough times, but then he literally breaks down mentally at the end of the video, <laughs> <laughs> disproving <laughs> everything he just said. <laughs> the, 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 br- the brain worm gets to him. <laughs> he's using <laughs> his eyes. <laughs> he's trying, he's de- like, you can see him trying to like uh, blink, blink, no. say SOS to the viewer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because like, the parasite has buried deep into his into the cerebral cortex of his mind, <laughs> and, and that was his last ditch effort to like tell someone, "Help, help! An alien parasite is controlling me." <laughs> but it does. It gives me hope, you know. I'm got, you know, it's a tough time, and uh, as it uh, says, they never last. They never last. Well, uh, you know, that was okay. That, that was should be that. the theme of this episode. Tough times never last. Yeah. Yeah. We're starting a podcast mid lockdown. Yeah. It'll be all right. What's what do we have? What's next? That was my dinner the other day. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Lovely blue roast. Transformer. I am on a Christmas tree. Who's ready for Fred? <laughs> that was my dinner the other day. People have a mental breakdown. Captured <laughs> <laughs> on TikTok. That's just where I'm at. That's just where I'm at, man. Uh, I don't oh know why. God. Smaller. Uh, I There's mean, not much you can do. There's, you can't go out. Yeah. He's stuck indoors. <laughs> he's he's like he goes from like showing us his his lovely meal to like living vicariously his fantasies of becoming an automobile or not an, uh, an Autobot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what I, I can't like it, it, he kind of looks like he could be related to you. Yeah, like, no, he, <laughs> he looks... there's a bang there's a bang of oh. San Martin uncle off of off of the oh, yeah. Okay, so that's how we make it bigger. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs>
And then <laughs> oh, I am on a oh. Christmas tree. This bit. Who's ready for Freddy? Why? It looks like it was a minion Freddy. Yeah, Did no. you see that? Yeah. Okay. Um Okay, that that was that one. This is just a nice just It's mad the gorilla got access to a phone. Like yeah. he's a very dexterous ape to be able to upload this. That's all for this one. I guess I thought it was nice. That's kind of fucking wholesome. Yeah, I just thought it is was he... nice. That's a that's a high def high def gorilla. Yeah, he's eating. My he's dad eating. eats tacos the same way. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> all right, all right. This next one uh, could go one of two ways because I haven't watched it myself, but. Mm. Uh, uh, we'll just take ourselves down a little adventure, shall we? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you mean you haven't watched this? I haven't watched this. Really? I watched okay. this. No, <laughs> I haven't watched this. Okay, let's let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna put. All right. Yeah, I never thought I'd be doing this today. Did you, Mike? So what's up, guys? It's your boy. Give yourself fatty. We are going to make a meat salad. As we can see, we got the chicken, we got the hamburger, we got the steak. We're going to cut right to the chase. <laughs> now, start with the ingredients. <laughs> Man, we're not going to get to the chase until bloody nine minutes. Well, for... <laughs> <laughs> this is the 10 minute video <laughs> right <laughs> 23 seconds in he got straight to the chase <laughs> <laughs> no that's not happening that's <laughs> that is a fallacy so e like empty your dishwasher it, it's very important that as a chef <laughs> yeah. you cover one of your eyes with the price tag of your chef hat you gotta you gotta let you him focus. know focus it's also very important that you wear your t-shirt as an apron. <laughs> I, yeah, or what is that? Like a yeah, it's a t-shirt or a, a sheet of some kind. All right, let's 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 cut to the chase. You don't got one, you got twos, you got threes meats. Threes meats. Three's so you've meats. got your chicken, your poultry, you've got your hamburger, and you've got the steak. You're also gonna have chicken. <laughs> Two types of barbecue, ketchup, and apple cider. So we're on to step one. Prepping your pan for your burger meat. Here's what you gotta do. Spray that bitch like it is hairspray. <laughs> Throw, it on. Throw it on the stove. First, you open this bitch right up. So you just want to take a little bit of a quarter, throw it in a mic. What the? So Bowser, here we are like Bowser. So got... then what you do then is you speak in tongues. Well, yeah, I don't understand what you're <laughs> I'm going to skip ahead. Bowser. Bowser, Bowser, Bowser. Uh, let's, let's, let's okay. find a plate. Let's, let's cut to the chase. Yeah, because this man uh, refused to cut to the chase. Shall we get, we get a little, uh, uh, Prep a little cook action on. Yeah. You know? About five more minutes. He's uh he's letting it slip. Finish up this meal. We're gonna transfer this hamburger meat to this bigger pot. You've never seen a camera taco or a SD card taco? No. Yeah, I used to call them that when I was a kid. <laughs> so freaking hot in this thing. Oh, of course you gotta drop some did you post it? I did. <laughs> An SD card and taco. It's not shalali. Like, you don't give a fuck about them. Cats are everywhere. <laughs> we found Terry. We found Terry. He bought a towel. Don't forget to bring a towel. I'm gonna make sure she's fully cooked. Oh, even with a towel. Let's see. Yeah, that's the money shot. Man. That's, that's cooked pretty well. 
So now you want to chop this up into pieces. So I'll start doing that. Uh, a really cool production value. Yeah, I don't. The choices of cuts are uh, avant garde. <laughs> Film and meat cuts. Film. <laughs> That's I want to hear. I want to hear a review of the meal before I move on. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, then I didn't have a hard time getting that, man. Anyhow. Okay. Easily my best recipe. Must try. What'd you say? Solid 8 out of 10? 8 out of 10. Hopefully you guys can enjoy this video. You have to consult not... the inner demons before... <laughs> before you could divulge <laughs> the rating. 8 out of 10? 8 out of 8 10. Out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's enough of our of our good friend here. You know, he's he's on TikTok. And, he's. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, there's there's a video I'll save till next week. Okay. Because if that, if anyone knows, that's a Mr. Airsoft Fatty who has like, like, he's got, he's got a huge following, and I guess it's because he's just. He's just vibing. Yeah. The man truly vibes. Yeah. But all his videos are as chaotic as that. Yeah. Uh, and I've... like, it's not even like, it, it's it's not even from, I don't even think people watch him. Like, like it's not from a cruel point of view or anything like that. I think it's just genuine curiosity because. I think, I, I think I, people actually like him, you know, but. Uh, one thing I will say is he has no, no sense of rhythm or timing in his. <laughs> <laughs> he's free fight. He's he, he does. It's called freestyle jazz. Okay, he can. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. No. Like. <laughs> why? Why should like? Why should like speaking clearly hold you back from making YouTube videos and cooking instructions? <laughs> Here, that's the thing. He, he's doing much better than I am. That's the thing. Uh, <laughs> He's got paid adverts that we should cut. We'll cut that in, in the yeah. post. He's but doing much better than me. I like. I'm gonna keep some things. Uh, I'm gonna keep some things back because I just want to like paint this man's trajectory. Because mm -hmm. wanna... he's killing it. He is. He he's legit killing it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what do I have? Okay, it's Father Christmas. Christmas time. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. <laughs> it's Father Christmas time. <laughs> is this is this the same guy as before? No, I don't before. think so. What do you make of that? Yeah, uh, I see you. You found my dad's secret. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite bit is at the very end where. The happiness drains from his eyes and he pauses the video. Hold on. I'll mute it because we don't need to hear all that again, but uh Father Christmas and famously has no teeth. After here. There. It's <laughs> Father Christmas time. So the gravity of his own existence like dawned on him. <laughs> yeah. Father Christmas time. It's like the gravity of his own existence like dawned on him. It's like Why would like Yeah. You know, Father Chris Father Christmas like famously ignored all good dental hygiene why would father christmas be shaving is what i want to know like surely New any look. amount of New beard look. would help it's been but... it's been a millennia since he's changed the uh it's been a millennia since he's had a facelift and what do we have next <laughs> i just thought that was good you know i just he did a good job. I Let's thought watch that, that again. Like... like the skill, the aim. He's Just... got full command of his body, bodily autonomy. Like he's got, he knows, he's got, like he is, his whole body is his weapon. Yeah, it's like it, yoga. He flows and moves as one. Yeah, it's like yoga, you know, your body, you think of your body as one moving part. Yeah. And... That's what they say. There's a philosophical element too because he chose "Where Is the Love" by the Black Eyed Peas. Yeah. And really, 
really if you could play this video for most people yeah i think you could stop wars i think it's about self-love as well like where is the love it comes from you you know yeah. you give yourself the love you see that wait wait ah! go back there start wait, again wait. no yeah i'll tell you when to when to pause okay okay pause ah oh, fuck well anyway you there was a point there a moment of fear where <laughs> Has this, ha, have I caught this in my mouth or is it now going to choke me live on Wait. TikTok? There? <laughs> yeah, there's a moment of... There, there. <laughs> there. there. <laughs> He's but, slowly pushing that back from the back of his esophagus. <laughs> I, just, I just think it's good, you know? I think he did a good job. That's a solid TikTok. Solid talk. Yeah. Uh, this one is more... The next one I can already see just from the name. This is more... Uh, this is more of a thinking man's talk. Okay. Not that this one wasn't, but, you know, this is even more so. Here's the thing, thing Jake, okay? If I were to give you this job, okay, um, and that is if things go right. If I were to give you this job, what would you do to make sure? Here's the thing, Jake. <laughs> Mr. Feet Dance. <laughs> I took a minute. I, <laughs> I took a minute. I like that. I like that. The, the, the crossed I've got, toes. I've got the same dexterity in my feet. Yeah, yeah. You have the you have that ability, that mutation. I can do, yeah. The groovy um, mutation. I that's if I was in the X Men, I would be you know Beast before he like gets his fur. Where he, yeah. either way, Beast is trying to like save himself or trying to like get rid of his mutation, but it sends him further into the. It kind of activates the beast mode more like so yeah. like for any of you that don't know first edition beast was just a, a reg regular dude no hair or anything but uh he had like simian like feet and he was completely ar acrobatic and agile i've got that same mutation but i knew to accept who i am and not try and change it back so i've got oh. full gripping feet and toes don't don't try to you know change yourself further you know i, you know I did my know. leaving cert with my feet he did yeah, um, got me an extra five points. It's like speaking in Irish. <laughs> um, uh, will I do another one, or do you want, want to do one? I've got one more, so you may as well do another one to, one to, more? to yeah, yeah. This is, I think I know what this is. This is just my favorite TikTok. It's not like hilarious or anything, but I just love it. Okay. Um, just it's just good. Just one look at you. And I know it's gonna be a lovely day. <laughs> just one. I just love. That's where I first saw the dice roll. I just love it. It's just. I. Good. I like. We we done. We've done some dancing talk videos, and I think, I think we could elevate. We need to like elevate ourselves to that level. Yeah. No, that's 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 my favorite one still. I just something about it, the the facial expressions, the the dice roll, all of it. What is this your confidence? Yeah, okay. that's it. The confidence alone. The confidence. So there's a, there's a trend with the majority with with uh, the, the majority of my uh, uh, videos. Um, it is another movie trailer. A homegrown Irish movie, actually, at that. Oh. It, uh, it, it got a little traction uh, on the gram recently because they did a showing of it. It's this movie called Moving Target. Right? Okay. So the premise is it's a kung fu movie set in Ireland. came out in 2000. And he has to stop the Ra from smuggling a nuclear detonator in a six pack of beamish cans <laughs> what okay <laughs> okay they've murdered his buddies they've kidnapped his girlfriend he wants justice he'll settle for revenge World kickboxing champion Don the Dragon Wilson is back, delivering spine-shattering excitement in the pulse-pounding action-adventure thriller, Moving Target. I gotta tell you, lad, you're really starting to piss me off.
He wants his girlfriend back, but the ransom isn't payable in cash. Beer contains nuclear detonators. I ask you again, where is the Beamish? I drank it. <laughs> <laughs> he does have an American accent. I drank now, it. Now, <laughs> brain for a murder he didn't commit. He's running from both sides of the law. Oh my god. In the ring and on the screen, Don Wilson delivers official Karate Magazine. Oh my god. The greatest kickboxer of all time. Don Wilson is a one-man army. American Karate <laughs> Magazine. Son of a... So, just so you know, you don't... You don't receive proper cinematic accolades since we feature in uh, an established karate magazine. That of course. Now you have a chance to be a big hero. Oh, oh my god. god. Um, six cans of Beamish. That's, that's, that's all the cover you need for any terrorist act. That is a real movie, right? That's... 100% real movie. It came out whenever it came out. And uh, why haven't I seen it? That's what I you want live to know. under a rock. Yeah. Well, Jeez. what about what about Soul Token? How come we haven't watched that yet? We could do that. We could do Soul Token and um, uh, do a, a review. I think we should. Because uh, everyone knows there's three sides to every story. His side. Her side. And the truth. And the truth. <laughs> 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 um, I've never, like, Sam bought me a DVD for Soul Talking, a movie that came out in, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Early 2000s, late 90s. Who's to say, really? Yeah. It was like on, like, it was like 99 cents in Extra Vision. And it's this fabled thing that we always like whenever we're picking a movie to watch together. We're like, fan through the collection, stop on Soul Talking. I go, ah, no, it's fine. And then people like something else. <laughs> and then I got it for you. And we still haven't watched it. We still haven't watched it. We should watch it. We should. We should do a live, like, like a live commentary of it. <clears throat> oh, we should. Um, um, yes. Anyway, let's, what, what else do you got? What else do I got? I like that one. <laughs> Just uh, like face acting, you know? It's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? You've do got we... that. I can't do that. What else do we have? The See, emotion. It, yeah, no, the it's really talent. well done. It's really well done, but just the fact that he made the choice to have the the, the nip out is yeah, nip slips are always good. Yeah, it just elevated it to another level. That's all you need. Um that's, I don't... Yeah. That's amazing. That's that's perfect. That's like that is, I wish I could do that. Yeah. Like I, I would, I like, uh, I would take acting classes because I kind of want to do that anyway. But I would take acting classes to get like a paradigm of the conviction he's giving right there. Yeah, I mean, he's put effort in. I don't know what I have here. What's this? Oh yeah, okay. I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> I'm so confused. Do you want to watch it again or what? Yeah. Yeah, all right. So cursed. Yeah, man. That's so fucking. Pasta, bloody pasta. We don't, don't matter what shape it is. It's still pasta. It all goes down the same hole. It's mushed up in your belly, so it don't really matter about pasta shapes. 
pasta is bloody pasta. We don't matter what shape it is. It's still pasta. It all goes down the same hole. It's mushed up in your belly, so it doesn't really matter about pasta shape. That's the last one I got. <laughs> so, some fun backstory. This man tried to go a whole day without uh, taking one breath. <laughs> He's on about hour eight right now. Um, and they're and they're taking up his time with pasta questions. I mean, what would you expect? What? Yeah. What would you expect? Pasta is bloody pasta. Pasta is bloody pasta. Pasta is bloody pasta. That's my life. <laughs> kind of um, looks like that man. I can't say that. Go on. He kind of looks like a human blobfish. Yeah, that's true. Actually, that is true. Well, I don't think it's him. I just think he's got the the unflattering angle. Yeah. Like, I think that's what makes like crossy TikTok the best. It's like people not really knowing. Or just being comfortable in their own skin. Yeah, I mean, they make these videos because they know there's a certain comic element about them, you know, that they yeah. they, they have the timing, they have the, you know, they we have should, uh, the vibe. We should, we should do a test on, like, making our most high-budget one-shot videos for, yeah. like, a solid week and then make our crustiest videos. But make them the good. same, like, just record the same... Uh, topic or the same joke or the same sketch and do like two versions and see what gets more traction that would be good that'd be a good experiment that'd be a fun experiment um the i think we can do the tier list another day right oh what time are we at i don't know but i feel like i don't actually know what time we're at i don't know how to check but um i don't know well, yeah you... i'm I don't know how you are for time, but if you get, if you get it, get it, we can do a quick one in ten minutes. Yeah. Is, is it long? I'll let's show it, it to you. Let's, I'll show it. Yeah. Let, let's do it and get it done in ten minutes, and then we'll see. Pasta, we don't <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of you. Enough of you. Not that one, but this one. <laughs> what is this? Rate bald baddies tier list. <laughs> baddies as in like, uh, as in like tots. Yeah. Um, what do you think? We could do it in 10. We can do it in 10. Yeah, we could do it in 10. We could do it in 10. Like most of them seem all right. I'm not interested in Zach Galifianakis, but I mean, Wait. we can just move past him. Okay. Yeah, Zach, I don't know. I maybe put him in the B. Um, we'll come back to him. Come back to him. All right. Uh, Rick. Um, Rick from Pawn Stars is S tier, obviously. Of course. I he mean. Is. He the the sheen. I think you need to like for all of these. There's a sheen level. Yeah, right? sheen. And if you, yeah, the sheen likability. Uh, best and, I can do uh, is S. Yeah, know? actually. Hmm. We're so mm, best he can do is S. I'd put mm. him at an A. He loses right. points for. Yeah. He does have a good sheen, but yeah. Yeah. We got Walter White. Um, I would say a solid B. Yeah, a B. A solid B for a uh, for a uh, um W. I think just because it's better than a not an evil. Yeah, sense, yeah. A... He is a baddie, but he's not like a Instagram baddie, you know. No. You got your guy, Joe Rogan. <laughs> my guy, my man's. Um, I think he's 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 Rick level. Yeah, I'd put him in front of Rick though. Would you actually? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Shrek. He's got the bod. Shrek is old news now. I think. I. Do you know what my thing with Shrek? It's fucking low hanging fruit. Yeah. D. It's a dingleberry. D for dingleberry. Yeah. The lowest of hanging fruits. Um, Zach is S tier. Okay, he can go up there. Eh, 
maybe he's a maybe he's like he edges uh, rick yeah he edges rick he edges rick um <laughs> is that um that's bald bald ripley from alien ripley oh the baddest of bads yeah she can be yes she's 100 percent s are you kidding me yeah um this is you know who this is no i have no idea um he is um in part he's part of the h3 podcast oh okay Uh, i think you make this call my man i watch the h3 podcast a lot um there's zach ian ethan hila dan dan um dan can be a all right, because he's he's, the edge. he's a producer. He's a good he's a good part of the show. Um, he he can be like. All right. Yeah. Okay. There. There. Yeah. 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 Dan, he's good. Uh, Brittany. I mean, I'd put her up there with. You know. I think Walter, at least at the very least, to be. Yeah. Uh, is that Natalie Portman? Yeah. I do like her, but in terms of baddies, I don't know. Doesn't do much for me. Great C? acting talent. Grading. Nah, probably be. Okay. There's I no do sheen. Like... There's no sheen. Yeah, there's no sheen. C. I mean, you got to have, like, if C? you don't got a sheen, no. Like, uh, yeah, C. If yeah. Sheening. That's, is that V for Vendetta, Natalie? V, yeah, probably? yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, great performance in that one scene, but. Yeah. Oh, she is good. Yeah, we're talking Sheen. Uh, Terry Crews, he's oh, he's yes. all right. Yeah, he's he's up there. Pitbull. Solid D. I, uh, yeah, low hanging. Actually, fruit. you know what? He's like. He is he, Mr. He's, Worldwide. He's, redeemed, he's re- yeah. Put him at a solid C. Yeah. He does have Sheen. The Sheen uplifts. Doctor Evil. It's a solid A tier. Yeah, definitely. I know. Yeah. Ah, I love I love a bit of actually no, because he's got a shaved screw to him, so he has to be the baddest of bad if he's if he's double shaved. There? Yeah. Oliver Tree. Oh, uh solid A. Solid A, yeah. Middle mid tier, mid mid A. Mid A. I actually don't know who this is. I don't know. It looks like a friendly David Draymond. Yeah, friendly David Draymond. I could put him in C because I don't know who he is. That's true. Yeah, Dwayne. Overrated, but it's got Mad Sheen, so maybe top of C. Top of C. Okay. Uh, Mike. The Thai guy. Maybe a solid B. Solid yeah, B. let's put him in B. I think he looks good there. Uh, I put Jason Stone exactly beside uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson because Shobbs and Haw, or whatever the fuck they're called. Uh, Hobbs and Shaw? <laughs> Shobbs, Shobbs and Haw. Finn Diesel. Um, Diesel? Solid B. B, okay. A solid B. I give him a solid B. There's Sheen there. There is Sheen. Dave Chappelle? Solid A. Yeah, solid A. I'll put him right beside, in between Shaq and Rogan. Yeah. I don't know what this is. What the fuck is that? I don't have a clue. Oh, skip that. I'm scared. I'm just going to D that because (laughs) Mike, I would put him high up for me, personally. Yeah, you you take this one. You take this one. I'll put him in A. All right. I'll put him in A. He is a baddie, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Seth something? Seth Evermont? No, yeah. yeah. The Everman? solid solid B. Yeah. Uh, Fern. Fern, rest in peace. Solid A. Yeah. Big Top of the A, I would say. Dr. Phil? Um, Solid A. Really? I'd put him a solid A. Mid-tier, maybe the bottom. Bottom of A? Yeah. Yeah, I moved Dan up a bit to there, next to Oliver. Ooh, Sir mm, Sir Patty. Solid S. 
Yeah. For Stewart. Pat Stu. Yeah. Meredith. Bold Meredith from The Office. I would put her. There is Sheen. I put her in B. Right. Bold Meredith. Skeletor. Oh, solid S. You can't get more Sheen than Skull. Yeah, solid S. Solid S. Come on. What's his name? I forget. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. What is his name? Steve Harvey. That's it, Steve Harvey. He is Uh, genuinely hilarious. Yeah. Like his stand ups, I honestly God think that man is genuinely hilarious. Ooh. Like I've watched too much of his stand up to to comment. I haven't Um, watched any, but I'll give him a watch. Genuinely hilarious. Can we just do Zach? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C or B or put him at the end of C. Yeah. He's not the worst. No. I don't know what that. I don't know. I think that's a fast food mascot in America. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Post. Posty. Eh, Solid B. Yeah. Solid B. Put him there, maybe. Not not a traditional baddie, but he's got Sheen. He commit to Sheen. Uh, Bald Elon is a solid C for me. Yeah, Bald Elon, probably there. Probably there. I don't know who this is. Mr. Sheen Shine. Oh. No, it's Mr. Muscle. But he's Mr. the Muscle. sheeniest of them all. He does have Sheen. He's, yeah. S, so, S. S. Okay. A Gecko? A Geico. The oh, Gecko. Geico. Okay. Nah, D list. Yeah, I have no attachment. Danny DeVito. Oh, fucking S. Yeah, S. The baddest of them all. Yeah. Top S, I would almost say. Yeah, we'll make him top S. Is that iDubs? That's, uh, I thought it was Moby. <laughs> I think it's I iDubs. I don't know, though. Uh, yeah, if it's, it's... I I would put Moby in C, but if it's iDubs... Maybe B. The yeah. end of B, because we're not yeah. sure... Um, right, our top S layer I would happily take into battle. Yeah, yeah. I like where all of this is, to be honest. The baddest of the bads. Zach Galifianakis, where are you? Yeah, I'm. I think I judged him. I judged it too harshly, just because he's not typically a baldy. So yeah. I was like, "What's he doing here? He's not out of all of these. He's not bald." But so is though. Yeah, true, true. I like I like this. I'll take it. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If anyone disagrees, then that's okay. I'll take take it up with our lawyers. Yeah. I'm glad we got to we got to do that. Yeah, it's Dunsky. Well, we've got our you know our. I think so. Yeah, we okay, did. Then. We covered the podcast. We got the the TikToks in, and we did. Yeah, the, we did the tier list. I think that's pretty much sums it up. Yeah, sick. Uh, I guess we see how it goes and stick and tune in next time. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll see you later, peeps. Excellent. That was great. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna. Look, they have a heart attack. Okay. Uh, How do I stop this?